Hello, beloved. God bless you all. Hope you're doing well. So I wanted to do a quick video here, and um, I just want to say that you know, I know a lot of uh, a lot of us were hoping to leave this year, and I certainly thought Crown 22 meant we're leaving. Although um, some people believe that the end of this year is really in the spring where Moses was told by God to start the year in the spring, which is a possibility as well as the fact that, you know, um, this year we have to hold fast so that no one may take your crown because he's coming now, which is what one sister said. Um, and so while I was praying about it, a little bewildered, you know, I, and I am sorry if I, you know, if I got anyone's hopes up, okay, but, um, I wanted to say that, um, this month, the month of Tibet that we are in in the Torah calendar is the 10th month, and I was just praying yesterday, and the Lord said, who is a crown for in the Bible, and I'm like, Esther. Esther got a crown in the month of Tevet. We're in that month right now in the Torah calendar. It's the 10th month and December, you know, that we just passed, DEC is DH10 as well. And so I'm thinking, wow, so it could be the crown. Queen Esther was crowned in this month, Tevet. And so um, I'm going to keep this short and catch you on the other one um because this phone has been cutting out so i wanted to read you from esther chapter two basically king xerxes had asked his uh queen vashti to appear at the banquet that he was holding and she refused to <clears throat> and he was very mad and got rid of her and decided to get a new queen and so um, several of them were tested, came before him, um, and he was going to pick the one that he liked. And so that's the story. And, um, so I want to read you a couple of scriptures from here. Um, so Esther was taken into the king. Some say exerces, and this is Ahasuerus, so I'll go with Xerxes because I'm used to it, into his house royal in the 10th month, which is the month, month of Tibet. That's what we're in now, in the seventh year of his reign. 17, the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Now, what's interesting, I notice, is that <clears throat> this is chapter 2, verse 17, which is 217, which is, of course, one of our scriptures for the uh, the flood, um, the 17th day of the second month, the flood hit. And when the rapture takes place and we're crowned, uh, the flood's going to hit. Uh, so... So let me show you um, on the Torah calendar what we have here. We have the 10th month on the Torah calendar. And on the, the 10th day, which is when she appeared before the king, that's going to be January 2nd into the 3rd. And I thought that was interesting because um, she appeared before the king and, and the king's going to appear before us in the clouds when he appears. And there's like a connection with that to me. And, um, you know, it was also the day that um, Jerusalem was taken over by the Babylonians. So there's a combination of destruction and the, and the crowning. 
what's the word commemorated on that day so that would be the 10th day of the 10th month and there's other days significant too in this month but and i think that since a lot of people a lot of us are you know kind of maybe crashed on new year's thinking that it would have happened uh we were expecting to see the lord i i just think that we should set our hopes in this is a very very significant time and i'm not gonna you know i gave you this day here right but I think that we need to just look at, look at the, uh, just be open in the month of Tibet. Um, in other words, don't give up, don't lose hope. Um, let me think if there were something else. Um, this, yeah, this, this month started, Rosh Hodesh was on the, basically on the 24th, and 25th of December. That's when the month started. And um, it's just on the tales of Hanukkah. Anyway, so, so I wanted to show you that because the crowning, the crown is really, I mean, the Lord Yeshua is looking for his bride. He's looking for his, his queen. He's, he's waiting for his bride. And Vashti was the type and shadow of Israel who rejected Yeshua, the Messiah, when he came. And they didn't recognize him. <clears throat> and he was mad they didn't recognize him at the time of, of his visitation. And that's another reason why we need to recognize him at the time of his visitation. In other words, we need to have an expectation of his visitation and not be completely clueless as to when he would come. Like some think, we're not supposed to know anything. <clears throat> we are supposed to know. He wanted them to know, and we have every right to know and to be searching and looking for him because he didn't tell us straight out because he wanted us to search. But don't you think in searching, he's gonna be showing us some things? <laughs> yes. Okay, so one of these times is going to be it. And there's no reason, no reason why someone wouldn't have seen it ahead of time, if not many of us. And I don't care if I'm the one. I just want to help keep you all encouraged and be watching things that stand out to me as the Lord reveals things to me. Okay, so um, with that, God bless you guys. And... Also, this is, interestingly enough, this is the, the third day, the third day, the wedding in Cana, the famous wedding was the third day, our, our Tuesday. So brothers and sisters, let us keep our hope, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, Titus 2.13, he is coming. Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17, of course, is a famous rapture scripture, but we'll go to 1 John 3, 3. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. So as you are hoping in him and not giving up and looking away and uh, letting someone steal your crown as you are hoping in him, you are purifying yourself just as he is pure. And that's what he's looking for. So don't give up. Romans 8, 24, 25, for in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope for who hopes what for what he sees. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience yes we are waiting for something we have not seen something no one in the world has ever seen the appearing of the lord jesus christ in the clouds to meet us in the air so let us continue with patience is that the hardest thing yes but he asks us to do that and our hope could be met 
literally any moment now. Colossians 1.27, to them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ is in you. The hope of glory lives in you if you have received Christ and believed on him as the son of God who died on the cross for your sins and shed his blood to make atonement for your sins, all sins, past, present, and future, forever died on the cross and rose on the third day to conquer death, hell, and the grave. If you believe in this for you and your soul, the Bible says you will be saved. 1 Peter 1.13, therefore preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ. So, my friends, stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. It's all God. You know, we can do nothing in in and of ourselves, And his strength makes our weakness perfect. In our weakness, his strength is made perfect. Okay, so... Rest in him. Rest in him. He will be here soon. I love you all. Talk to you next time.